god look what wigs have done to me look shrinkage okay it's shrinkage honey I ain't the one that you want to talk about I ain't the one that you want to run your mouth about You should know that you shouldn't play with fire, fire Hi <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm vlogging again Shit, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my vlog Um If you're new here, I'm Vanessa Black And I am showing my natural hair i'm giving you guys natural me okay i'm about to wash my hair i try and aim to wash my hair every week appreciating my natural hair a bit more and not feeling ashamed to show you guys on youtube or show social media or show anyone my natural good given hair but um aside for all of that yeah i'm just basically going to show you guys my routine my washing routine there's nothing special about it um i'm just showing you guys what i use um if you guys have any recommendations for natural hair especially if like your hair is very thin naturally and um isn't as strong as you want it to be please comment down below because i'm taking this natural thing very seriously okay i was literally i've been in bed watching youtubers as you can see only bells i love her i mean i've had it in braids for I hate some braids all the time on my wigs, it's in plaits. Um, I used to get cameras under my wigs like the norm normal people do, the normal wig wearers wear. But I feel like cameras get so messy easily, whereas if I braid my hair under my wigs, then I can always redo them because I, I can't camera. Yeah, I'm, I'm the percentage of black women and black girls that I cannot camera. And I'm not embarrassed, okay? I just can't do it. What was I doing with them white dolly heads? That's probably why I learned to carry on because we had white dolly heads, okay? I'm making excuses. Like, camera sometimes is more tension than um, braids. Ooh, chill. I look so cute, guys. Today's secondary school. I look like a secondary school girl. That's with me. Like the video. I look like a rude secondary school girl. Like the video. And if you're new, subscribe to my channel. God, look what wigs have done to me. Look. You see what side parting does to me. This is why I avoid side part. But if you saw my recent vlog, I do something to protect my edges. It's the sickest hack. You have to see my previous vlog. I, I It's all in there. But this is what side parting and frontals do to me. Healthy it now. is growing healthy. I, I cut the ends a bit. Yeah, if you keep cutting it a bit, then... Yeah. Yes. Right. And your face is clear apart from that. Well, actually a few, so I have to stick to water. water. Like the minute I stop drinking water, then it starts coming. It start coming yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna drink water, water. all this week. Yeah. I literally use this. We've been use. I've been using this since I was born. I hope the blow dryer is here. Making sure I massage these edges quick. And I like bending my head over the bar because when I was younger, my mum always bent the bar head over the over the bathtub, and I feel like it's really good because it gets all the blood rushing to your scalp. Shampoo in my hair. So needed. The best part about this, about me washing my hair, is I had nails on. You know how it gets. When you have nails on and you're giving yourself a good so after i've like literally pat my hair down until it's damp near enough dry but damp i'll condition it so the conditioner i normally use is olive oil replenishing conditioner um this
Yeah, like, I just want my natural, I want my hair back. <laughs> I want it back, but natural. Like, it's been a journey. It's actually been a journey. But the thing that I always say to myself is your hair never stops growing. It's just how it grows that affects your hair. So it's never too late to correct your mistakes or to try and grow out your hair. Because your hair's always growing. It's how it grows and how you maintain it to grow. Shrinkage. Okay, it's shrinkage, honey. about she ain't got any hair shrinkage ho girls baby you see this whatever you look and see i've literally done two um lopsided bantu knots okay so there wasn't any cling film left in my house so i had to use a bag normally um Normally my camera be in focus every time. Normally I would use a black bag because black absorbs heat. So I use a black bag to get as much heat trapped in. But <laughs> okay, I ain't got no black bags. So it's just a carrier bag to lock the heat in. What is this fucking fly doing in here? It's Hey guys, so literally after drying my hair, like everything's out and it feels <sighs> soft as hell. I like to let my hair air dry until the point where it's dry before I blow dry it. And I know people say, don't use heat air dry, but shrinkage is an issue, okay? If I don't blow dry it, my hair will get tangled. So I let the hair, my hair, literally air dry, guys, for like however long it needs to be dry completely then i'll blow dry it because i hate using heat on wet hair it's just it takes up more hair than it needs to so i'll just let it air dry and then i'll be back when i'm pretty much braiding it for you guys to see it's simple my simple routine okay it ain't anything special it's just all real all how i do it so yeah guys i'm so happy like i'm doing this like i don't know why this video was not planned at all i just thought do you know what i'm washing my hair for the week and i'm just gonna film it for my subscribers and my viewers and those people that have been following me for i need to wrap my hair i'm sorry guys i can't <laughs> i can't i look i can't tell myself seriously like if someone wants a screenshot they're gonna screenshot me properly yeah when i'm looking like a sweet one okay <laughs> so yeah i just feel like those people that have been watching me for like a very very long time even before vanessa black like you guys know it's always been like makeup it's always been like it's always been like hair beauty makeup then never the natural stuff i want to be free i want to be me i want to i just, like i want to be how i am half the time like i'm not always camera ready i'm not always like glammed up i'm just like a regular schmegler girl like this is me and if i don't show that i feel like i'm i'm kind of like in a box i don't want to put myself in a box i just want to be free be me so if i get caught off guard of camera or if i want to film something and i don't look 100 i don't feel like oh but i'm not even done up like my makeup's not done oh, my hair's not done you guys, I want you guys to see that already. Hey, girl. So, guys, yeah, just quickly, while my sisters are here, I just want to show you all our hair textures, which are very different. Although our, all our hairs are very soft and and we're just blessed with blonde hair. Let me show you my sister's hair. So, this is my sister's real hair. Natural hair. Wait, hold on. <laughs> no, please. So the, yeah, put the light on. Guys, this is her natural hair. Don't put my face in it. Yeah. Right. But you still, you look nicer. You do. Yeah, mm. it's, it's serious, okay? And I'm trying to get my hair to this length. So this is the goal. This is the goal. Yes, it is. All real, guys. And... This is my niece. Put your face in there. This is my other sister's hair, which she cut. 
Um, how long ago did you cut it? Um, in February last February, year. February, but it grows really curly and coily. Like this is, it's no chemical. crazy. No chemical. Oh, no, let me just show them the cut pattern. It's, it, it has grown a lot. It has grown a lot. You just can't see it because but it's a really nice curl pattern. That's just how much it grew from, I think, the end of February last 2019. year. 2019. Yeah. Okay, so basically, my hair got literally as dry as a biscuit. Like, so I had to spray it with a bit of water, um, just so that I wasn't like cracking off or breaking off hair. And then I use some pomade to literally grease my scalp. Now, normally I'll use Dax. If anyone knows Dax, I'll insert a picture. That is like my go-to. Like my mum has been using that since forever on our hair. So just anything greasy that is good for your scalp, I'll just grease my scalp. So I'm just sectioning it and greasing it. And then I'm just going to massage it all over my scalp because greasing your scalp is... It's always worked for me, basically. It's been key, so that's all right. I'll just section my hair out. And this is how I braid it underneath my wigs. I'll start with the middle part because normally, usually, my wigs are always middle part, so I'll create a middle part, but it doesn't matter if I wear side part wigs. And then I'll take mango butter, which I've been using for so many years. I stopped, but if I stay consistent with mango butter, it really does grow my hair. So I'll section my hair out and grease it section by section. Then, I almost forgot, but I like to use the seal method, the moisture and seal me method, sealing method, which means you basically get pomade, pomade or grease and anything of like a thick gel-like texture and seal the moisture in. So the water spray, the mango bar, the moisturizer, I'll just seal the ends and pretty much the rest of the hair um, with some grease. And sometimes, if I notice some of my ends are dry, I'll cut them off, literally. And that's pretty much it. That's literally my weekly wash routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you thumbs up. If you're new and you just subscribed to my channel or you've been subscribed, make sure you hit the bell. YouTuber, YouTube is not notifying my subscribers on my videos. Make sure you click the bell and I'll see you guys in my next video.